Hello, this is Mona, and today I have a special guest and uh, a friend, uh, Sarah. My name is Sarah, <laughs> I'm from Egypt. Uh, I'm a language tutor in Italki. I teach Arabic, English, and Turkish. Uh, I She's fluent in Turkish. She, she she forgot to say that. Well, if I teach it, I'm already fluent, you know. <laughs> like, uh, okay, so uh, I love language learning a lot, and I just like teaching and, and learning languages, and just I, I have a really big passion for languages. And your major is psychology, correct? Yeah, exactly. I'm okay. studying psychology. Uh, okay, so I'm very happy to have her. She's a thank you. Really Me nice. Too, really, I'm really person. happy to be with you right now in this video. <laughs> okay, so today's topic is kind of new, and we choose yeah. to make it in English because it kind of fits into, although it fits in the advanced uh, kind of level, but we choose to make it in English so mm -hmm. everyone who wants to have a, a watch, uh, have a look at this kind of video, they might get a word or two. Yeah, now, exactly. what we're going to talk about is uh, uh, we're going to talk about the words that we recently created in Egypt. So we like you know like languages evolve a lot. So in Egypt, we like the young people mostly. They started using new words. I don't know where they started, but <laughs> recently everyone is using these words. Uh, and like you can never find these words in a book or, or in any educational thing. Exactly, exactly. So Sarah is here to help us with these new words. Yeah. So just to say for a start, some of these words I never use in my <laughs> speech for some reason. Uh, that's what made me um, very interested in that and also it's kind of a newer generation I, I said I guess you use it all yeah, the time I use with your friends like most of them, not all of them but yeah most of them I use them a lot because they're just they happen to be the way we talk so. by newer generation what age range we're talking uh, about depending on the word like some of the words actually in this like what some of the words that we're gonna discuss are used by like I don't know people that are in a university or something so it's like kind of younger I, than me or young, uh, Are you yeah that? I mean like <laughs> undergraduates like people around the age of 18 to 25 something like that right or um, or like some of the words are used by all the generations like my mother would use uh, some of them now right uh, so it's basically depending on the community you are living in in Egypt or something like depending on who are the people that are around you so for example if you if you're st like most of people studying international schools use these words a lot mm. uh, but people studying or people just not exposed to these kind of community or this kind of education they don't use them that's an excellent point because that leads us to talk about this is our just personal observation from what we see and from the people that we deal with mm -hmm. there are important considerations as Sara said your middle like it depends on your social, social class, class basically yes. exactly um, <laughs> uh, your social class or your education level your um like the community around the general. age so, so we yeah, have age a lot of social so. variables that we're talking about including the social class the age and so right. shall we start yeah of course <laughs> we should so our first word that uh, we prepared for today is fekis yeah that's kind of the the most popular one of them so fekis is it, it doesn't have a literal meaning really it doesn't have a meaning in english uh, but it said something like when you when you don't want to do something you say fekis it's mm -hmm. kind of like no but it's not exactly no it's uh, it's like you can also still say no fekis like um, uh, like la mm -hmm. fekis can we like have that. an example in arabic for that yeah. Yeah. tell me tell me yalla nakhru for example oh yalla nakhru yalla nakhru la fekis mish adra like um, I'm tired. I don't want to go out. Let fake it. Okay, so she's just if she want to discard this kind of suggestion or say no to it, just she would say fake it. Yeah, or, I'm not interested, kind of thing. Yeah, I'm not interested. Now, yeah. there is another thing that you should note is that there are other conjugations or other exactly. let's say forms and patterns that comes from this word. Mm -hmm. So you could say to a person, you are fakzen, and when you say that, it kind of like uh, this person is always saying no to things it's someone who cancels plans <laughs> okay, so flexen is a sort of adjective that you could describe a person who always refuse yeah refuse to, to participate in exactly. events and stuff like that exactly yes. so uh, as an example if i said that is you could tell me in flexen so Xen is for a male and Xen is for a female. Right, exactly. So now yeah. there is also a verb from uh, this. Exactly, yeah. 
so uh, you could say like you could conjugate it in the future for example have kiss for example uh, are you going to school tomorrow I have madrasa bukra la have kiss okay it's like no I'll just keep it in this context it's kind of like no I don't I, I'm not gonna bother mine like to do it or mm. something like and we have like past and present like fakas yeah kiss. exactly fakas yeah. it's mm. like uh, did you yani you went to the gym on the day or you went to the party and you went to the hotel on the day لا فكست ما رحتش تمام طيب now we're moving to our next word ألش ألش okay that's my favorite part okay so ألش is is a sarcastic joke basically and that no one likes so it's kind of a negative joke so it's usually used when you say something alike so it's kind of like a pun in English so you can actually laugh at this but maybe if it's your first time to hear sometimes some people laugh I like ألش so I laugh at it really I like it, but yeah, I like Alsh. I'm okay, so I'm gonna say this, but I'm an Alesha, so Alesha is someone who says Alsh or Alesh. Mm. Yeah, for me, it's Alesha, so I'm an Alesha, so that's why I love them. Okay, so if I said Ikamen, which means what else? Okay, so someone might say Kamen or La Piano. Ha ha. See? And she might kill me right now. Uh, we're playing with kind of similar mean words with a similar meaning, maybe similar sounds. Exactly. Uh, stuff like that. I don't think I'm one of the people that don't receive this very pleasantly for some reason. If, if it's a joke, it's, it's a bad joke. It's a bad it's joke. And then we have. You could use it as a verb as well as just fakis. So you could say, <laughs> or something like <laughs> uh, I say this a lot. So because <laughs> yeah, because my friends don't like me saying this kind of thing. So uh, I'm like. Saying something with a really low voice, that I say, and then I, I, they ask me, what did you say? And I'm like, nothing. Uh. It's like I was gonna uh, ha, like say an elcha, but then I just. Okay. So, so elcha is the plural. Elcha is the singular form. Okay. Or elcha is is the most. Yeah. It's more of the concept of doing. Mm. But yeah, elcha is the whole. Awesome. Thank you. Our third word is ishta. Mm. Ishta is a word that, like, it has been. Yeah, we have been using it like a long since a long time ago, but mm. it's still used a lot with, like, nowadays actually many people can use it, even like uh, older generations or like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't use it in my speech a lot, but it's, it's I know personal it's preference. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think. So. Yeah. Okay. So ishta means. It just means that you agree. You're like it. It just means okay, but in a really. Cool way. Mm. So you're just saying ishta. So for example, the other nochru, ishta, ishta, Okay, so let's go. Like it's kind of like I'm in, uh, or, or you're agreeing. Accept, you're agreeing, saying like, something. Yeah, it's good. Great. Yeah. So it's never like when you say okay for a negative thing. No, it's it's when no. you agree about it. Mm. Uh, yeah. So it doesn't have any different conjugations or whatever. It's just ishta. But We do have an another meaning of the word ishta, but we focus the meaning on the one that we use in in the speech. Oh yeah, okay, I forgot to say that. Yeah, so ishta it means cream or something. Yeah, yeah, like it's a type of food. It's a cream. Yeah, usually it's kind of the cream that you extract from milk from cows, cows in the buffalo's milk. It it would be ishta. Yeah, number four. Hayis, yhayis, tahis. Well, I use this a lot because tahis. So it's kind of like when you, when you're acting like uh, drunk, mm. but you're not like you didn't drink anything. So it's kind of like you're, you're acting in a really weird way. You're kind of laughing a lot, and then you, you just, you're just doing I don't know, just laughing. Exactly. So you're so you're not, not in your right mind, kind of. Exactly. So you're not thinking about anything right now. You're just laughing and you're just having fun, and it's like a tahis mode on. Uh. Uh, so uh, basically, I ana bahayis. So I. I I get into this mode with my friends, and I behave my hobby. Mm. <coughs> it's like um, I guess that's all about it. Like it's just the state of being so and uh, and often if Sarah hyperactive is hyperactive and, and if Sarah is too so. nervous and trying to kind of laugh a lot and do maybe <laughs> a lot of jokes and buns and something, I could say intim hayisa. <laughs> exactly, you could say intim hayisa. Ah. Uh, hayisa. Ah. Okay, so mhayis is a form of ism uh, al or what we call the active participle. Um, check your grammar books later on, but for now, uh, yeah, we'll not right now, cabbage. please. <laughs> <laughs> no grammar in my lesson. Yeah, <laughs> Just uh, joking. She, she's she's more of um, 
a conversational kind of. Yeah, she like likes a lot of conversation. Yeah. Uh, I'm more kind of structured, but she she helps a lot of students with their speaking skills. Exactly. Yeah, yeah it's number five. So number five is fukek. <laughs> We're not cursing. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Fukek. Oh, fukek. Okay. So another yeah. word that has the same meaning is sibek or sibek. Yeah, uh, and these simply means just. Don't don't think about it or don't do it. Don't just, just leave, leave it. it. Drop yeah, it. Exactly. Mm. So just okay. So let's give an example. I want to go to the cinema. The cinema at point nine. No, okay, madam. It's not good. Okay. It's not like good. Don't go. Like it's don't bother. We can it's also. It's kind of fakis in that sense. So you could say fakis sibik men. Oh, okay. So okay. That's that's really good. So I can use fakis fukik at the same time. Yeah. Fakis and fukik. Exactly. Uh, if we if we talk if you were talking to a male, it would be fukik fukik or sibik. Yeah. Okay. We can add a preposition which is min. Uh -oh. oh yeah, you can say that for fukik min. Yeah, fukik min that it's like uh, just. Like civic men that, which is kind of like the same thing. You just could say men something uh, like focus from this kind of thing. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So today we've covered around five words. Yep. Which is number one, focus. The first one was focus. Number two, else, else, else. Number three. Number three was ishta. Uh huh. And number, number four, four was tahis. Uh, and number five was Seebeck, Fukkak or mm, whatever. Fukkak and Seebeck. Uh, that's it for today. This is our first part. We're going to have another part. So s please watch check it out. the <laughs> other. Yes, check yeah. it out. And uh, we're going to leave a link to my dear Sarah's profile, italki profile. If you want to have uh, sessions with her in order to improve your speaking, uh, that yeah. will be great. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. And of course, to Mona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I will also uh, provide the link for my website. Um, follow us, subscribe, like, and share, and all do all of these great stuff. Exactly. Please. Uh, I'll see you inshallah in our next part and in another uh, video. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you.